my name is Amber, and today we're going to be doing our day two dumbbell workout. So I'm super excited to show you that we're going to be doing a lower body, and we're going to be ending with core. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I want to first start with, if you haven't, use your calendar. Write down everything. This is my 2020 calendar, but um, I have my other calendar somewhere else. But I just wanted to show you that this is the time to start charting your weight, all right? And if you have a marker or something of like different colors, make it colorful and something that you're gonna be writing on every day, all right? And I have been marking my workouts, shading them in, saying, hey, I did my workout today. I'm keeping myself accountable. I, and then when you look at it, you feel accomplished. So, that is an idea for you for to log your weight in. And another thing too, if you haven't, take a before picture and see your progress throughout this program. It's a two week program. So we're just gonna get started into it, all right? We're gonna march in place. First, I want to warm you up a little bit. I plan on having a another workout warm-up so then that way you can just start on that and then you could do our workouts arm circles forward something easy peasy lemon squeezy and backwards and then you're gonna hug yourself and release March in place. So today, I have to say, did not start out the greatest for me. My dog woke me up at 6.30 this morning and I'm just like, I just want a few more minutes. I just want a few more minutes to sleep in and arm circles forward. So I thought after I take her out, I'd be able to go back to bed, but then I hear the baby crying, ready to wake up and then backwards so that's how i started my day and then the dog didn't want to eat hug yourself release so it's like come on but then i started off with making a to-do list today I'm just checking them off one by one. All right, we're gonna start off with our squat overhead press. Um, today I'm gonna show you our workouts and then we're going to tackle them, okay? So our squat overhead press, you're gonna have your weights by your shoulders. You're gonna squat and press up, just like that. Our next exercise, we're going to do a split squat and press. So that means a lunge. Press. Our next one is going to be a bridge. So we're gonna to go to the floor. Weights are in hand. You're just going to lift your hips up in the air. And then for our last round, we're going to do, I call it the tabletop kickback. So you're just going to Bring your foot up to the sky. And then we'll have a minute rest. We're going to, we're going to aim for three rounds, okay? In three, two, one, starting from the top. Weights in your heels. Hips go back. Whew. 
So with this, you want to think lightweight, more reps. If you need to, you could drop down to one weight for this next exercise. I'm going to try to do 15 on the right, 15 on the left. Weight comes up and step and press. Let's put down those weights, shake it off. I think I'm gonna to have to do one dumbbell the next two rounds. <laughs> My arms are still building strength. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. Inhale down, exhale press. We're gonna come to the floor. Hip bridges. Weight is on your hips. You're squeezing your glutes as you rise. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Put those weights to the side. Now we're going to go into our tabletop. Make sure you're even. You're gonna lift your foot up into the sky. I'll give you some time. Other side, you ready? Let's do it. You're squeezing your glutes and core. Awesome. We have a minute. this minute <laughs> after yesterday's workout I am just like my arms are feeling it so I'm just like okay we're gonna focus on the lower body workout but then we have those overhead presses so that's my deltoids are feeling it so much <laughs> We're almost there. So. 
I'm really excited to do this program. I, you know, some days it's just like, I don't know if I want to get my workout, but you know, days like this, having you keep me accountable. Let's go ahead and get up. This is why I keep going. Squat overhead press. Let's go, 15. All right, like I said, I'm gonna drop down to one weight, but that is me. If you can, use two weights. Good, go for it, all right? All right, lunge back. And up. This is so much better on my arms. <laughs> We're gonna give you some time. And then we're gonna work on the other side. <sighs> Breath. We got this. Step back, lunge. Up. Lunge a little bit deeper if you can. That makes it harder. So if you find yourself, that was 15. <laughs> uh, if you're still going for your 15, I'm gonna let you do it. But if you find yourself um, having your rib cage re reach up too high, like that is too heavy for you. Your weight is too heavy for you. So if you need to go down in weight, then do that. Um, otherwise, like if, like if you're new to working out, I don't want you to go too heavy because I just want you to gradually get into training and just getting your body used to working out again because first you gotta condition yourself. That is a big part of working out. First you gotta condition yourself, get your body ready for doing heavier weights. So once you've got your form down and everything, then that's when you want to go heavier in your weights. All right, we're going to do 15 bridges in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Put that weight to the side. Do -do 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 -do. 
Now we're gonna kick back. Let's go. Ready for the other side in five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. All right, we got a minute rest. Whew. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> If the weight is too light for you and you're not sweating yet, increase the weight. <laughs> um, if you wanna know how much weight I'm using, like I said in the last video, I am just getting back into, I don't know, just getting back into like lifting after having a baby. So I am just using six pounds right now. Um, it may be really light for a lot of you, but this is where I feel like I need to be working on. I really need to work on my form. After seeing my last video, I'm just like, form is gonna be key right now. Uh, tightening up your core, straightening out your back. Um, try to reach a little bit straighter with the arms. Those are little things that I've been focusing on that I want to focus on. We're gonna go ahead and get up. Our last round, we got this, 15. Let's go. Use those legs to drive your body up. Get ready for our split squat. Five, four, three, two, one. So think posture, knee behind your toe. That is 15 on one side. Reset. Shoulders back. Deep breath in. <laughs> right, deep breath in, deep breath out. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Almost there. All right, get ready for those bridges. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Right. 
tabletop, kick backs, in five, four, three, two, one. Got a minute. So our next round is going to be core. I plan on doing, as long as we have time for it, two rounds, 15 reps. So first we're going to be standing. I'll start with showing you what we're doing. So one hand on your hip. And we're just going to stand and bring that weight down. So we're working our side obliques. Uh, the next one, you're going to hold your weight like this, and right, left, that's one. We're going to do 15. And then we're going to do overhead center. So your hands are going to be straight in front of you, bringing them up, in front, 15. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you either have your hand up by your head or on your hip, whichever you prefer. We're going to do 15. For the next round, you can increase your weight if you prefer. Bring that weight to the center, and we're gonna twist. Tighten up your core. Ready for forward, over, overhead, 15. Tighten up that core. We got a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to think of three things at one time. Smile, tighten up your core, and then counting at the same time. <laughs> so it's just, my mind is just like one, two, three. <laughs> um, but this is the fun of it. Teaching you guys what I know. 
having you here day after day. And if you've been able to keep up with my programs, there's still more I wanna do. So this is the third program that I've made this year. Um, I really plan on just showing you more. I plan on doing a foam rolling for a week just to release all those muscles, especially after this program. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. All right, let's go. Pick up that weight. Side bend. Other side. Remember, this is your powerhouse. You want to keep this tight every movement. Twist. And then one more thing I'm thinking about, breathing. <laughs> it's like, breathing is key, all right? Tidying up your powerhouse, deep inhales, deep exhales. All right, let's go ahead. Last one, we got this, 15. We're going to squat, reach those hands up, cool down. You did it. We did it together. Day two is in the books. Stretch out stealth toys. I'm just feeling this one today. <laughs> Other side. Triceps. Other side. Now we're gonna go into catcher. If you could touch the floor, go for that. Try to think tall with this one though. This one's more difficult for me. I'm trying to keep my heels on the floor. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our quad stretch. So you can hold onto a wall or grab a chair. Other side. All right, so today is day two. 
And I want to just like say congratulations, you got through it. Tomorrow we're going to be doing another workout, so stay tuned. Um, and I just want to say like, if you are feeling muscle fatigue, we don't want you to feel too exhausted with your workouts. This is the beginning of our program, so I just want you to gradually get into strengthening, uh, especially if you're new to dumbbells. Uh, I just want you to focus on gradually increasing your weight and just listening to yourself on where you're currently at with your like body weight, stamina, um, your ability to control your strength and your form. So just focus on those kind of things. I don't want you working out too hard that tomorrow you're not gonna be wanting to come back. All right, so I'll see you soon and I'll see you tomorrow, I guess.